Um, what, what I would ask you is, so the Muslims, when I was talking to them, they said, there's, um, well actually they, they, they try to give me two proofs that Islam is the truth. So what, like objective proofs. So what would be the objective proofs that, because uh, what, what you've said is from within the context of Christianity. Yes. Are there any sort of uh, uh, things from, ex from an external perspective that would show that, uh, that uh, Catholicism is the truth? Okay. My initial discussions um, with you when it was light was that um, I looked at it as an historical set of documents, the New Testament documents, and the, and the growth of the early church in those New Testament documents and the subsequent documents which showed the generalised belief that Jesus had died and risen from the dead. So this, if it were not a miraculous event, would be accepted by historians because it's testified to so widely and so early. I mean, they would say that the person of Jesus is accepted as a historical figure, but about the resurrection, yeah. uh, uh, that's disputed. But then you raise the point, well, why would they lie about uh, uh, such an event? They had nothing to gain yes. politically or Yes, or, or economically. Or, yeah. uh, which is an interesting point and actually something I'm still considering because I've heard other people use that argument. And there were plenty to arrest and torture yeah. to extract confessions from. Because the, the story that appears the in the Bible, happened. it says that when the Roman soldiers discovered the stone had been moved, they went to Pontius Pilate and Pontius Pilate, uh, I think it says that he, he uh, gave the soldiers money so that they would say that his disciples came and took the body away. The only difference is it wasn't them, it was the temple priests. The, oh, there sorry, were temple guards, they went to the temple priests, yeah. told them what's happened and they, they then bribed them to keep quiet about it. The Roman soldiers? Yeah, yeah no, I don't think they were Roman soldiers, I think they were, it doesn't say. But because they went to the temple priests first, they must have been temple guards. Because after all, a Roman soldier does not go to a foreign power um, when something's happened. He goes to his commanding officer because execution of these guys and at least severe whipping was, was the, the consequence of failing to obey orders, failing to carry out orders. And so they would not. They wouldn't have been Roman soldiers. No, you're right. You're right. It was the chief priests. I think. Yeah, they did they go said, to that. They said, "Lest this rumor spread among the people." That's right. And in fact, Roman soldiers couldn't care less whether the rumor would spread. They're not Jews, so it must have been temple gods going to the temple priests. Notwithstanding that, um, we have a we have a no attestation in an early document from a person who calls himself a Christian that Jesus did not die on the cross and did not rise from the dead you know, and that's an, that's a fascinating thing as well there should be sects of christians who didn't believe in the resurrection well no no well what can you say all you can say on an historical analysis is that the early documents are of christians all of whom believe in the resurrection now there's no there's not there's not a, a uniform belief that jesus is god almighty as we Catholics say, there's, but there's a uniform belief that Jesus is more than a man. So you, the spectrum of belief, yeah, the, that's it, the spectrum of belief is from super being, like the Gnostics have this idea of eons and emanations. He will be an eon from the great God who, who began these emanations, up to that he is God Almighty himself, but not saying he's merely a man. There is a citation of group called Nazarenes and Ebionites and they would I would say they are the only ones I could that would go against that early um, spectrum of beliefs but the Ebionites the, the Muslims often say oh the Ebionites were early Muslims but actually the Ebionites believed in the resurrection they celebrated it it's in you say and they also um, believe that Mary and that Jesus was born of a natural um, sexual act um, with a man. And that's contrary to the Surah Miriam in, in Islam. So, they, they, so these Ebionites weren't Muslims. The, 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 the detail, Nazarenes, there's not much to say about them in, in the writings of the early fathers. We only know anything of these guys from the early fathers. And we don't know when these Ebionites and Nazarenes existed really. Um, just looking at the early fathers, that they, they, they encounter them, but we don't know when they began. Uh, so there's really nothing, apart from that small bit of evidence, that there was a sect around um, believing in Jesus being, you know, other than a man. Or just, sorry, just Jesus being only a man. So that's the historical data. 